SideBySideBlog.com Garage. Hey guys, welcome to SideBySideBlog.com Garage. It's episode, uh, I don't even know what episode it is. It's like 12? Yeah, we lost track a long time ago. So I think we're just gonna drop the whole episode number thing. But right. uh, So we're mounting up some tires today. Got some sand tires for the YXZ. We got the next bachelor party this coming weekend. Out to the dunes, need some tires. So, yeah, we got uh, some 26 inch scat tracks for the back. They're extreme haulers, uh, eight paddles, and then uh, some EFX sand slingers for the front and a 27 inch. Um, would have liked to add scat tracks, but I waited until the last minute to order tires. They weren't in stock in the right size, so this is what we got because I needed tires. So uh, those are all going on some Douglas Stealth wheels. Ooh, Douglas, how appropriate. Yeah. Let's so see we the got, uh, Ooh. Uh, yeah, no discount on those. Nice. Paid, paid, paid full retail. No, paid full retail for those bad boys. So those are 14 inch wheels, um, of course. 10 inch wide on the back, eight inch wide on the front. So pretty wide set of wheels for this set of tires we're gonna put on them. So yeah, re be, uh, real skinny. Right, should be should be fun mounting those up. So it's so, all right, let's do it. Yeah, let's get at it. So what do you got here, Doug? This looks like a Harbor Freight tool. This is a Harbor Freight tool. This thing, I think I got on sale for 35 bucks. Something, something like probably 10 years ago. And this is mounted, dismounted so many tires, it's not even funny. It's been broken, welded back together. I mean, I've done huge truck paddles with it. It's uh, paid, paid off well, so. So you got another tool to add to the old repertoire here. This is like the bead popper. It's got some other stuff going on, like a leverage bar somewhere. Yeah, that's over here. Okay, oh, yeah. leverage bar of doom. That, right, take tires on and off. So yeah, another great Harbor Freight tool. We'll show you how that works here in a second. So it looks like these rears are a bit wider here, Doug. What's going on yeah, with that? So that's an eight inch and wow, yeah. wow, that's wide. That is a 10 inch, 10 inch wide wheel on the back. So finding 10 inch wide wheels for these things is not all that easy. Um, not that many manufacturers make them that wide. And I haven't run that wide in the past. So I just had eight inch wide on my Maverick um, with the same, same size paddles, but a little bit of research, you know, talk to some guys that run the, run the wider 10 inch wheel, um, claim there's a significant difference in, in flotation. So we'll see. Stepped up, paid a little bit more money to get the 10 inch wide and... Interesting. Hopefully it's worth it. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully we can get the tires mounted on it. Right. <laughs> Gonna be better than the old Rockabillies, I'm sure. Right. So it looks like step one, you mount the wheel in face up. Right. And you use this really intricate, uh, I don't know about intricate, but... Like a duct tape protection. Tape yeah, right. <laughs> Right, yeah. So the duct tape didn't come stock on the tire machine. I went ahead and added that to uh, wow. try to not scratch nice wheels up, and it, it actually seems to work. Nice addition. So I just uh, cut these straps here off the paddles. All right. And uh, just kind of, so we're going to clock them, right? We're going to try to line it up to like a valve stem hole. We are. Or one of the bolt holes, just for OCD. Yeah, right. I mean, so if you look at the YXZ, the way the hubs are clocked, they're actually, um, they're actually indexed. So if you go ahead and line up the paddles with something on the wheel, I usually pick a paddle, line it up with a valve stem. That way when they're both on the machine, you know, you can line the paddles up and it looks it looks good. So looks good. I'm not sure if it works any better. Probably doesn't make any actual difference, but. All right. Worth bringing up. Yeah. So we've got some of our uh, accessories here for mounting. A little bottle of WD-40. It's going to help that bead set real nice. Doug's grabbing yeah. a tire iron here. So these things mount super easy because they're so soft. So you usually don't even need a tire iron to spray a little WD-40 on them. Usually they'll push right on the wheel, so. Nice. Hopefully that's the case. This is the first one, so it really doesn't matter which side it is. We'll just throw it on and. So what's the technique here? You start with one end and, and work it towards the outside? Yeah, you see, so you gotta get the bead down, you know, under the smaller diameter. So I usually just hold it with an elbow to get one kind of stuck and, and work it around. Okay. You can absolutely do that on the floor. 
you know, if you if you need to, you don't really need the tire machine for right. mounting the tires. This makes it a heck of a lot easier for dismounting. Right. So I went ahead and uh, spun this. I just you know picked a paddle, got it lined up with so the that, uh, that paddle to the valve stem there, and boom, the valve stem. So. If there is a hard part for mountain tires, this is what it is. This doesn't look like it's gonna to go too bad, but I mean, getting it to, to take air the first time. Um, this fits the wheel pretty good, so I'm thinking we can probably just put some air to it and air it up. All right, so we're just gonna fill it up with some air here and see what happens. Yep, we're gonna try. So we might have to jostle the tire around a little bit to get it to seal the first time. Two hours later. Might have to grab a second pair of hands. Okay. So, so I think we can think we can do this that way, but uh, get somebody else to help me hold the other side of the tire so you can you can videotape and we'll we'll give her another shot. All right, let's try this out. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna give this another shot now that we got a second pair of hands. Nick's gonna put some air in the tire. I'm gonna work the tire around and try to get it to seal a little bit. So you can hear, so basically you're trying to find a position where you can hear the air leaks stop. Once the tire starts to build a little pressure, um, it'll expand into the wheel. And then you just air it up until you hear the, hear the beads pop on both sides. So it'll take quite a bit typically. Um, the tire will be real, real hard. And then uh, you know, you'll have to let air out afterwards, obviously. I was thinking about it. Yep, it's going. It'll make a good pop, so. There it is. Boom. Very cool. Right. So um, first of all, you got to pay a little bit of attention now because he's mounted one tire. Uh, right. Obviously, paddles are directional. So you look at that tire. That is the right side. This is obviously the leading edge of the paddle. So that's going to go on the right side of the machine. You got to make sure this one's going to go on the left side of the machine. You don't have the paddles on backwards. So it's going to go on like this. We just got this one aired up here. We're going to make sure we put it on the right way. It's pretty obvious at this point that we did. Yep. That's a... That's a left tire to match the right tire. They want to be opposing directions, right? So there are center caps for these. We can pop the center caps back in them at this point. Not sure where I put them, but they're around. They exist. <laughs> Doesn't matter. They look good though. Right. The Douglas wheels looking hot. All right, time for the fronts. So on to the fronts. Yeah, these should go on the wheels real easy. Just like the backs. But as described before, they're a little bit skinny for the eight inch wheel. So we're going to have to use a little special tool here. Oh wow, that seems a lot tighter actually. There you go. Yeah, it's just a little little stiffer, little stiffer tire. So now yeah, you wow, can look at that. Now you can see the issue. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be difficult. So we're not gonna screw around obviously trying to just put air in it. We're not gonna mess around with the strap. We are gonna go straight to that tool over there. Oh, oh, oh. So what is that tool, Doug? So we call this the cheetah. Uh, I'm not really sure if that's the official name for it, but that's what it's called around here. Basically, that is just an air tank with a big old valve on it. So here it comes. We're gonna give this a try. Now you want to be putting air to the tire at the same time, so you get an initial blast from the cheetah. Try to get it against the bead, but you want to have the air on it. So if it catches, then you can keep it. So I'm gonna try to pick this up kind of into the middle of the tire. Try to put some air to it. Didn't move it the first time. Nope. That was incredibly loud though. So yeah, it certainly is. This will be uh, exceptionally a, difficult. A double. Double. A double up. So here's the technique that we're going to do. Leave them out in the hot sun here. It's about 85 out. Put some jack stand stuffed in there to stretch them out. Hot. Hot enough. So 
So we got our tires with the jack stands in them. They've been sitting outdoors for, I don't know, three hours, something like that. Yeah, three hours. hours yeah, we're a little bit dirtier now. I don't know. We did some work on we're the cat. The wild cats, these things were in the sun. So hopefully when we take these jack stands out, they're going to stay spread like this a little bit. Anyways, help us out. Look at that. Now don't get too cocky about it, but that looks pretty darn good. Yeah, I don't want to. You know, rough it up too much, but right. So let's that get that should, WD. That should help. I guess be careful here because it could pop back inside, which would be bad. Uh, Want me to step on that for you? Yeah, if you don't mind. So we're working that corner through, as you can tell. Boom. Okay, stayed out fairly well, I think. Yeah, this should be no problem. Do you want to WD that edge, Doug, or you it already is. did? It's on the inside, yeah. Yeah, I can't get it. You got a better angle. Boom. Okay. It's starting to pop back in a little bit. I think the. Oh. Let's just quickly get to it. Yeah. Come over here, then, or whatever you want. Yeah, I think right there. Go for it. Ready? Right. Yep. That's how she works. Nice. Pretty happy about that, Doug? Yeah, very happy. I was nervous that we weren't going to get those things mounted. That was, they were a long ways off. What's nice is this one. Whoop. Pop, pop. Okay. This one over here is stretched out even bigger, so shouldn't be a problem. All right, so we needed a third guy for that last tire. It was pretty tough, but we got it. Yeah, they were they were tricky. We had to uh, kind of pull out all the, all the tricks to get those on there, but we got them, so. Uh, I don't know if I'd recommend trying to do those yourself or not. Just take them to the tire store and yeah. pay somebody 40, else to do it. 50 bucks. Right. You're not getting a balance, so it'll be real cheap. Yeah, that's that. Where's the other? There it is. So, I mean, you can, right? I don't, we wouldn't have got those front tires on without that, without that cheetah air tank. So, I mean, they're not that much money. 60 bucks, I think, we got into that tank. If you're messing around with this stuff, it's probably not a bad idea to have one around. Boom. So, that's it. So, you want tires. Until next time. See you guys later.